Hey crafters, Lisa here from Fun Stuff Crafts. So glad you could join me for another Inspiration Friday. So this week we're staying on the theme of Christmas in July, and I actually have a cute Christmas theme project for us to do today. So I hope you stay tuned and you check out this cute little reindeer art that we're gonna be doing. But hey, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, thanks so much. Make sure you click on the subscribe button and click on the bell and YouTube should alert you each time I upload a new video. Let me give you a sneak peek at what we're going to be making today. These are so cute. So this is another idea I'm going to try out for our craft market. And I've just been having so much fun with pebble art. So give me a second. I'm actually going to join you right back here at the workstation and we're gonna get making this cute little project. So let's get started with this fun project. Definitely a Christmas in July project. So what we need to start out with is I had a frame. Now I just went to my stash and I grabbed a frame. I will tell you I threw a coat of white paint on it um, just because I wanted it to be white. So I did that and I took the glass out already and I cut a piece of paper to be the same size to fit right in the frame. Now I love to use my um, watercolor paper and this is the brand that I use. I just like to use it because it's got nice thickness to it, but you could use any type of paper. Then I picked up these, I call them popsicle sticks or craft sticks. Um, through Amazon. Now you could definitely paint these any color you wanted. I just decided to save a step and I ordered some red ones. So you definitely are going to need some popsicle sticks. Now when it comes to, and I've already done a few of these, painting our cute little faces, you've got a couple different options. You can use paint. So I've got a little bit of white paint here and a little bit of red paint. Or if you have got paint pens, you could definitely use paint pens. Now I'm going to do a combination. I have found that I like to paint on the white and the red and then put a dab of black in there with my pen for the eyeballs. So a couple options there. You definitely are going to need to get some rocks. Now I'll tell you, my family thinks I'm nuts, but this is what I've been doing on vacation lately. If we ever go to the water, I am forever collecting rocks. So I like to find the nice flat rocks. They work really nice for my pebble art. And then it's also fun to pick up some sticks and twigs. So I've got like three or four baggies full of rocks that I have been um, collecting. Let's see, what else do we need for this project? We're gonna need some super glue. Now this is just um, from Dollar Tree. They've got a package of three, just the real small ones. I take that back. I might have picked this up at Walmart, but just some super glue. And I went out to my yard and I got some twigs. But what I did is I cut them down for the cute little antlers. So you can see that I just cut those all apart. So let's see, what else do we need for this project? I think we're pretty well set. Of course, you are gonna need a paintbrush if you're going to be painting yours on, and I've got that ready to go. So let's get started. Like I say, I already started this a little bit and I painted a couple faces um, ahead of time. But what we're going to do is we are going to take the back off of my frame and I'm not going to be using the glass. Now, if you had a shadow box frame, you definitely could use the glass, but in this case, I don't. So I'm just gonna insert my paper in and I'm gonna put my frame back together. And that way we're gonna be working right inside this frame. So let me get that put right back in. I'm gonna turn it over and we're gonna glue straight in from the frame, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is these popsicle sticks, what I did is I measured them to see what I wanted in height and I've already cut my popsicle sticks all up. And so what I did is I actually got two of these out of each popsicle stick. So you can kind of see here the difference. And all I used is my scissors, really easy. Just grab your scissors and have at it. 
So now, one thing also I want to let you know is another good idea is you can use your glue gun um, to put these in, the sticks in. I do like to use super glue with the rocks. It just seems to work just a little bit better. But for the these, we can definitely just um, put those in. So what I like to do is I like to make sure that I've got the right amount. And I'm actually just sliding these underneath the frame a little bit because there is room to do that. And so what I like to do is kind of lay this out first and then do my gluing just to make sure everything's going to kind of fit. So as we put those in, and the other thing I've learned is to put this last one in, the end one in before you put the other ones in so you can slide that other one in. Just makes it a little bit easier. So look at that. Isn't that just a cute little fence that we've got that our reindeer are going to be sitting on? So we'll go ahead and paint another one, but just to give you an idea, these little guys are going to be sitting on the fence there. So we know that this is all going to fit. So while I'm going to glue these in with my glue gun. So while my glue gun is heating up, we're going to go ahead and set this off to the side and I'm going to paint. Now let's see. I'm going to do three reindeer. So I kind of have to decide, do I want, what size reindeer do I want in there to go with my other little ones? And I'm thinking, thinking I like this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and like I said, I'm going to use paint for mine. And what I'm going to do is I have got a paintbrush that is a, sorry, a number one. It's just a real fine tip paintbrush. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my red first. And I'm just going to get a little bit of paint. And I am going to do a round nose and what i like to do is really kind of get a good amount of paint on there almost like it's 3d like so it's got a little bit because it's going to dry and i have found that if i put a little bit of extra and just kind of poke with my paintbrush like that you can see what my little nose looks like I might make him just a tiny bit bigger. So I like to start out with smaller and then add if I need to add, because I can always add, I can't take away once it's painted. What I would do is grab another rock because Lisa's got so many rocks, okay? So as easy as that. So now what I wanna do is I'm wiping off my brush and I'm gonna bring some white in. And I like my paintbrush to be real good tip on it when I'm doing it because I just want to do a little circle here. And I'll tell you the funny part about this is I think these look so funny, like not finished until you put the eyeballs in. I just, I don't like the look of them without the eyeballs. So, um, but you've got to let this dry a little bit before you can put the eyeballs in. They remind me of when I used to play with Play-Doh for some reason, how they look without the eyeballs in. Okay, and so I'm just gonna dab a little bit of extra white in there. Okay, so then we're gonna let these guys, this guy set off to the side, okay? And what I'm gonna do is check my glue gun and see if it is, yep. My glue gun is ready to go. So I'm actually gonna start with gluing the middle one first, and I'm just gonna put a dab of glue on, and I'm gonna slide that guy right back in. And I find that since I have it laid out, if I do it this way and go from the middle to the outside, it works the best. But I just thought this was such a cute idea. 
I know it sounds crazy making a reindeer um, project in the middle of the summer, but I want to give you guys ideas. And as you guys know, this is a test for my holiday market projects. This one's a little bit more in depth than the other ones I've done, but I wanted to test it out and see if it's something that we could do with multiple ages of people. So I'm just gonna get those all the way in. I should have done this one. I have to come back to that, guys. I think I'm gonna learn on this side and I'm gonna do this one first. And it's nice that I can slide it a little bit underneath. And you know how picket fences aren't always perfect. So if we've got a little bit of a gap in there, we're fine. There we go. Just had to get a grip of that one. Really should have done that one like I did the other side. But we got it out. That's what counts. Okay. So now... See if I can get that guy slid back in. There we are. We've got our fence all in place. Now what I want to do is I want to look at my reindeer. And of course, my one isn't quite dry all the way, but I can still place him or her, whichever way you want your reindeer to be. And then I've got my cute little... Um, sticks that I've got for antlers. And just look how cute this is going to be when you add these on for your reindeer. And just kind of play with laying it out before you do any gluing. Kind of funny. I think they're cute. Might not be your thing, but I just think these guys are going to turn out so, so cute. I think I want to get a little bit bigger antler for that guy. So now that I can see where the antlers need to go, I'm going to remove my rocks and I'm going to glue those antlers down. Now I am, I'm using this super glue and it's got this nice tip on it. I am going to use it to put the antlers on. The other thing I thought would have been cute is to add a little bit of white on the top of the fence rails. That way it could look like it had just snowed. I also thought it would be cute to add a Merry Christmas um, sediment to the fence posts. Would be another fun thing to do. Okay, so we got our antlers in place. So let's see if we can get those eyeballs in this one. Got a couple extra antlers I don't need. And I'm gonna take my black pen. Now the, this is a paint marker. And I always like to dab it to make sure it's there. And I'm just gonna dab it right in the eyeball. And see how that little guy changes so much just by putting some eyeballs in him. Okay, so let's do two things. One, we're going to do a little bit of glue on the glue gun. But we're also going to add some super glue. Same thing there, a little bit of super glue 
and a little bit of glue from my glue gun to get a quick adherence. Oops, uh-oh. Okay, well, we're going to change positions since we just grabbed that. <laughs> I think I need to jab that guy under a little bit. And this last one, okay, we are going to let this dry. And I think I might go check out my stash to see if I've got a Merry Christmas that I can put along my fence. But this is just another example of what you guys can do with a few rocks and a few craft sticks. So we'll let this dry and I'll see what I've got to say Merry Christmas across there and we will be set and ready to go with this cute little project. So I just went into my stash and I had this cute little Believe and I added just two little brads right on the back of it. So I thought that would be cute. Didn't have a Merry Christmas available, but I had this. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of glue for my glue gun and that on. Let's make sure we put Believe facing the right way, Lisa. And how cute is that? Oops. Got to play with that. I got a little bit of glue on there. I just think that turned out so cute. So I'll show you how I have it up on display. And you guys need to let me know what you think about this project on making a cute little reindeer sign. And here is that finished product. I did add a little bit of translucent medium just to give it a little bit of snow on the fence, but I just love how these turned out. So if you like this project, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out my blog at funstuffcrafts.com for other DIY type projects.